Hey guys, what's up? Alan here and today we're doing something a little bit different. I'm going to take you guys on a photography mission with me to go and capture a sunset. Now a lot of people often ask how do I capture sunset shots and what is it like when we go out on these evenings to do it. I'm not going to go into depth about camera tutorials and different stuff but I'll just show you some of the equipment I'm going to use and basically just take you on a little bit of a ride along with me and some friends to kind of just see the experience of going out on the evening and it's just really a nice pleasurable experience if you go alone or even with some friends relaxing your mind and just having an all around great time. Let's get a move on I'll show you some equipment and we'll get this mission started. Let's go! So very quickly, let me just show you what I'm taking with me to this little expedition this evening. I'm going to open up the bag here. So I have my Sony A7 camera, my DJI Mavic drone, and of course this GoPro that I'm holding in my hand right now. I'll put a link down in, my, um, in the description below the YouTube video to all the items that we're using today in case you want to check it out on Amazon or if you ever wanted to buy something of your own. And now that we're packed and ready to go, let's go and pick up some of my partners who are going to be tagging along with me. Man like Chaz. You can say whatever the hell we want all the time and there's nothing right or wrong. Chaz is our resident iPhone expert and he'll be taking all the best iPhone pictures as we go. And he has the, a very new, nice looking iPhone as well. Cool. And my boy took a nice clean shave there to get pretty, pretty pictures of him. We're really gonna get right up in there. Right boy. up in there, in those holes. <laughs> Dumpling! Here we go! Thank God everybody, it's Dumpling, that famous photographer! Will you sign my autograph? Sign my mask, Dumpling, sign my mask! Hey, hey, children watching this, you cannot put up your, your nasty little middle finger. Everybody, this is Dumpling. Now, Dumpling, what is your real name? Nicholas Marjan. Take off that mask while we can, isn't it? You safe in this car. Nicholas Marjan. Nice, and that's the name of your photography page, right? Yep. And I'm going to tag you in below any link, everybody. You can find Dumplin down in the link below. He's a professional photographer, real bad. He get on real bad with the, the pictures of him. So as he go and do tonight, I think. And as Chaz wear any mask now, look, Chaz have a surgical mask. I know. He's a doctor. This is K95. K95. Yes, nah, I like this. And he have tattoos. Look, Chaz has tattoos all for the ladies. Yeah. He have tattoos. He have gold. He's rich. Yeah. Everything everybody <laughs> wants. You know, I only roll with the best kind of partners. <laughs> Good evening, sir. We're going to um, film sunsets. Are you interested in coming and learning with us? Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. What are you doing? Hello, beautiful. Hello, beautiful. Go back. No backing. So, one of the first parts of, of doing a shoot is we kind of thinking of where, or you think in advance where you would like to go. And we decided Paramin. You could kind of get a, a view of Shoto Island as well as it faces directly towards the sun so we're hoping to get some mountains and different stuff like that in the foreground of our shot. Three boys here kind of just soaking in the view. I see Charles making a, a new friend there. Yes my darling, yes, yes. So we're aiming to get this view for the sunset basically but I think we may go a little bit lower down and find a slightly better spot that's easier to set up all the cameras and for everybody to be involved in that kind of stuff. Man, these views up here are just ridiculous. Men looking at land, they want to put on their house here. Charles is running a test on the land. So what he has to do now is check the dirt as a land expert. He has to do a spin, test the, the solidity <laughs> of the soil. <laughs>
Charles has now upgraded to a professional photographer using Dublin's equipment. So therefore, Dublin, you can now head home. You tried your best, but sorry, you've been chopped. I'm gonna right? stick to cell phone photography. Yeah, stick to your cell phone. You're not good enough to own this kind of equipment. But Charles is a man. Wow. Let me see that front of that lens, Charles. Yeah, She's shiny. There's some benches. Obviously, as you can see, beautiful views in all directions. So there's a lot of options, which is basically what you want. Kind of cloudy skies, but not rain. And the sun is still pretty high in the sky. So in the meantime, I'm going to fly the drone a little bit and I'm going to pass you over to my partner, Chaz. He is now in control of the Trinity Surfer vlog until further notice. So Chaz, please take over. Do as you please. I'm going to fly some drones. Sweet. Well, that was some introduction. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, yeah <laughs> right, Alan, what are you doing there, boy? All right, so now we set up the drone for a little small flight while we wait on the sunset. So the first thing I'm going to do is collaborate the drone so it knows its location in case anything happens. It knows how to return to this point so I don't lose it in the ocean or any bushes or something like that. Like this. And then you hold it up like this, sideways. And the drone is collaborated. You see in there, hopefully I don't crash it into no trees. What's the time there? Give me the time. Pull out our phone and tell us the time. 20 past 6. 20 past 6. So Dumpling, we must be nearly about time to start taking some pictures of actual sunsets and not all the nonsense we were doing before, right? Roger that. Roger that. What kind of sunset pictures are you going to take? You're going for silhouettes or you're going for landscape? Anything that the big man above provides. Anything that the big man above. I assume you're referring to a religious character. <laughs> <laughs> Charles, you know the big man above? Um, boy, I've heard rumors, uh, but you know, you just kind of have to meet him. Uh, or... You have to meet the big man above? I don't know. Like... Wait, wait. <laughs> it's a hard question. All right, men. All right, well, when I let meet this big, big man that you're talking about, you know, you will let me know the scene. In the meantime, I'll probably take some pictures. So I have the GoPro set to time lapse now. It's getting a little bit darker. So I'm switching to this camera and then possibly my phone free vlogging. It's not looking like it's gonna be a crazy epic sunset, but we're still gonna make the best of it. And I think we'll probably take a couple of silhouette shots as well as maybe just a few landscape shots as well. We have some um, uninvited guests coming up the hill there. Yes, boss. Yeah, man.
Like, this is the, all the equipment I have. That's so. all the equipment. Well, yeah, I'm going to make it work. But Charles, what's the lesson for the youths? When you have only one type of equipment, you must use what you have, right? Yes, you must improvise and always jump over your hurdles. You always jump over your hurdles like a horse. Exactly, on, on, on some sort of Gatorade. On so, a, a horse on Gatorade? <laughs> Remember, just jump up, jump all over your hurdles like horses on Gatorade, everyone. Well, guys, in the end, it wasn't the most spectacular sunset we've ever seen, but the journey was also what we came here for, and that was excellent. Everybody really enjoyed themselves. We got a lot of nice pictures during the daytime period, and it's always nice to come out here with your partners and your loved ones. Take some time to yourself, as I always say in my videos, free up your mind a little bit and just relax. Because God knows during the normal struggles of work weeks and life on the whole is really difficult to disconnect from that life sometimes. And up here, is a perfect example of a place you could come and really, really disconnect and get back a peace of mind going forward into the week. So everybody, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much for tagging along with us. I hope we didn't talk too much rubbish for the entire trip. But it was a good vibes experience. Have a great week ahead. Stay strong. Peace. Thank you. Thank you, Jimmy. Go ahead.